Hey, what's up YouTube? Today, I wanted to make a quick video to discuss all that's going on tomorrow. Now, for those of you who don't know, Apple is holding their annual Worldwide Developer Conference, referred to as WWDC for short. Now, the event will commence at 10 a.m. Pacific Time or 1 p.m. Eastern. And at the event, the company is expected to be releasing the first beta iteration of iOS 12 to registered developers, as well as showcasing the next versions of macOS, watchOS, and tvOS. Now, that being said, if you want to stay updated on this event as it unfolds starting tomorrow morning, we will be live streaming said event on the channel. Tanner and I will, of course, be doing our usual live tweet updates during the event, which are extremely useful for those who cannot watch it live for whatever reason. Now, lastly, once the event concludes, we will be making a ton of videos concerning announcements and developments that come directly from WWDC 2018. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified when we release new videos. Now, as far as the rumors go, iOS 12 is expected to be Apple's first iOS refinement update. It seems as if Apple is adopting a similar refresh schedule as their macOS updates, one year adding new features and the next refining the OS. So this year, instead of focusing on new features, we're likely to see major performance, stability, and security updates due to the vast amount of bugs and glitches that iOS 11 endured. That being said, there has to be some new features that Apple will introduce tomorrow, probably along the lines of ARKit updates as well as minor UI changes. Now on the other hand, macOS is expected to receive some major new features like cross-platform support. So the next iteration of macOS is expected to be able to run iOS apps natively. And as of just a few days ago, a new rumor suggests that macOS could be receiving a system-wide dark mode, so that would just be incredible. But of course, stay tuned to see what updates pertain to tvOS and watchOS as well. Again, along with these software updates, the second major part of this event is going to pertain to hardware updates. Apple is also very likely to be announcing new hardware refreshes to their current MacBook Pro and iPad Pro lineups. Also, I really hope they give us an update on the wireless air power charging mat, but we will have to wait and see. Now tomorrow, once the event concludes, iOS 12 will be going into the first round of beta testing and will be available for download. I will be making a video on how it's theoretically possible to upgrade and install said beta on your device. Also, as a side note, it's highly likely that tomorrow will also be the day that Apple closes the signing window for iOS 11.3.1, which as you may know, is a critical firmware to be on as the next jailbreak utility is going to be for it. So if you guys see this video in time, get to that firmware either by downgrading or upgrading if you're intending on jailbreaking your device. I of course will be making a video on how to jailbreak your device as soon as a utility is released. Anyway, as you can see, there are a lot of exhilarating things going on tomorrow and this upcoming week in the world of Apple and iOS jailbreaks. And if you don't want to miss out on any of the excitement, again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow me on Facebook and Twitter for even more updates. Again, we will be live streaming the event directly on the channel tomorrow morning, so don't forget to check back for full coverage. But until next time, guys, this is Tony signing out.